You're a bartender by trade, and obviously the bar part is self-explanatory. What about the tender part of the job? The tender part of the job is being close to your customers. You gotta give everybody a little kiss on the cheek sometimes, you know? Well, that's when you speak to people and you hear their problems and you tender their feelings. Are people still coming to bartenders with their problems? Oh, yes, they do. They do? Yes, always. Do you feel like you can help them? Not at all, but I fake it as much as I can. <laughs> Would you rather have a bottle opener permanently installed in your armpit or the ability to dispense club soda out of your nose? Club soda out the nose, just drink it. I all think the that's time. a good choice. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's just recycling. No, I'm going to go with the, uh, the bottle opener. Bottle opener? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Club soda out of my nose, man. That's how I feel. Yeah, it's just disgusting and refreshing at the same time. Can you spell the word daiquiri? Oh, no, D-A-I-T-R-I-C-A. -I, I don't know. I don't, I don't make them. We don't make We have a dive bar. Going to make you a daiquiri? Go see, we got to go. Go someplace else and have a daiquiri. Can you spell daiquiri? No. I can barely spell my own name. D-A-Q-U-R-I. Close enough. Close enough. <laughs> D-A-Q-U-I-R-I. Yeah, almost, almost. Yeah. Just one little I short, yeah. Really? Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> D-A-I-Q-U-I-R-I, daiquiri. D-A-C-Q-U-R-I-E. Right. Really? No. <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> what is your stance on the tiny umbrella? I love them. I love think them. Greatest garnish ever invented. Do people still use tiny umbrellas? As far in as LA, not oh. in Brooklyn. I actually like the tiny umbrella. I think it looks very nice in a pina colada. And then you can charge a little extra when you put the umbrella in there. I think outdoors it makes more sense than indoors. Why is it keeping something well, out of the drink? It's keeping the sun from melting your ice, I think. So. Is that why it's I there? Th I think that's the purpose of it, yeah. Do you ever lie to customers so you don't have to make their drink? Every day. <laughs> Every single day. Constantly. Yes. Well, a lot of times, you know, the blender's not working. Ah, so the blender's the blender not working. Work. Yeah. yeah, that's a I good can one. shake it for you, <laughs> but, but they don't want to shake, so I know that, so I just tell them. <laughs> What's the most annoying way customers try to get your attention? When they scream yo across the bar. That's the worst. Yo's no good. Yo's no good. They think because they're from Brooklyn, they could go, yo, yo, but it doesn't work. Is one yo better than two yo's? The more yo, the worse. So yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo is horrible. You'll never get a drink. Once you pass the two yo's, you're out. <laughs> to bartenders. Cheers. 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 To Brooklyn. Thank you. To Brooklyn. <laughs> the real Brooklyn. Smirnoff number 21 vodka. The answer to all of life's ridiculous questions.